welcome to the first video in the hard difficulty category. Congratulations if you've worked through the lower playlists and have gotten here. This one's entitled Reverse and Not. Write a function that takes an integer i and returns a string with the integer backwards followed by the original integer. To illustrate, consider the input 1, 2, 3, 123. We reverse that to get 321 and then add 123 to the end, resulting in 321, 123. So I think that's pretty clear, but they provide a couple other examples down here if you'd like to see. 152 backwards is 251, and then you sort of append the original 152 to the end. Um, and then there's a larger input here. So let's check the notes. i is a non-negative integer. And then, ooh, bonus, by using system link, this should be completed in one line of code. So we can go for that too. Let's head over to the code. As usual, please pause and try this yourself and resume when you're ready. So, um, first things first, I'm going to, let's see, one way you could go string, let's call it input, let's just simply convert the input to a string, and then we can manipulate that. And we know this is the last half of our answer, right? We had the reversed then the input that was passed in. That's what was that's what the answer comprises comprises. So um, next we need to get a reversal, right? String. Let's go with reversed. Now we can take for this We could say even since we have this input variable, we can call reverse on it. We know reverse um, is a method available to us. It does what you think, inverts the order of the elements in a sequence. You can see how Apple came out backwards down here. Great, that's what we want. We can use this because a string is an i enumerable of type char, so that should be fine. Reverse to get it to a string, let's call it to a, this to array method converts the result of this, which was another i enumerable. Remember, to array will return it um, to a character array. So at that point, we know we can construct a string from character array. We've seen that before, that the string constructor is overloaded to accept a character array as input. And so that should give us the reverse string. So just for fun, if you want to see. Turn some garbage right now, just because I don't want it to finish yet. Okay, so you see what we have here. Input is one two three, reverse is three two one. So the logical thing to do would be to append those things together, right? Um, remember, they wanted the reversed first, so this. Do it. Yeah, there you go. So I'll, I'll remove these lines. Now, remember they wanted the bonus challenge to do this all in one place with link. So um, bonus points are awesome. Let's do that. Over to the code. Okay, so same kind of thing here, right? It should be 
clear from the last example, or it may have given you a good idea of what you can do to get this into one line. Personally, I don't force answers onto one line necessarily, but let's get those bonus points. So we had i to string, right? This converts, this basically encloses the number in the double quotes. It makes it text now. Then we'll call reverse because we wanted the reverse um, numbered first. And then we're going to append the, the original number to that. So, do you remember? Well, I don't think we've used this method before, so we can consult the documentation. You may notice here I'm under enumerable methods. So you can kind of peruse this to see if there's anything that makes sense for your purposes. One jumps out at me already. Concat, short for concatenate. And you can take a collection and sort of append it to another one. Concatenates two sequences. And it sounds really good for what we want to do. Check the example if you'd like. So let's try that. Cat, we'll just put the original number in there, convert it to a string, and then to work with this string constructor, we got to make this entire thing an array, right? It can take a character array. It knows how to construct a string from that. So I think this should do it right. Take the original input, reverse it. So we got one, two, three, went to three, two, one at this point. And now take that 321, concat onto it the original input, i to string, and then this whole thing, right, this whole bit here, convert that to an array so that you can make a string out of it. Let's try that. Nice. Nailing the bonus points, too. Um, yeah, maybe there's a better way of doing that. As usual, please share those with me. Otherwise, you know the drill. Hit me up with those questions, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.